today we will see how the ACCM uh, uh, client communication works, how the client reports to the ACCM server, and how the whole process works. Uh, so uh, let me start with the theory part, uh, then I will show you flowchart diagram how it works. Okay. So once the agent is available on the network, the client is installed, and the client is installed, the client goes through the following action as the pass of reporting process so below are the steps the client location service identifies the site code and the mp management point mp here means management point it is supposed to connect okay so that's the first step the client location service which is in the ccm client okay will identify the site code and management point it is supposed to connect okay once it identifies the management point, the client connects to the management point and downloads the policies. Okay, it will connect to the management point. Say I am from the site code, uh, I'm a new SCM client. Please give me the policies that I need to uh, follow, and the management point will provide the policies and it gets downloaded. Once the policies are downloaded, it sends the heartbeat record to the server. So it will confirm the management point that thank you for the policies. I have received your policies, and uh, then and uh, it will say I uh, I am processing your policies and applying it. So this heartbeat record is sent to the server. Once the server receives the heartbeat record, these are converted to DDR and processed. So DDR nothing but server records. Okay. So this heartbeat. It's a heartbeat record. You can even call it a heartbeat record. And the DDR is processed. Uh, once this is processed, then the client flag will be set as active. Okay. Until then, it will show us inactive. And on regular basis, the agent will send the heartbeat. Okay. There is no heartbeat or inventory show for length of time. Then the client flag is set as zero and marked as inactive. So only if the process is completed and continues to happen, will the client remaining reporting to the server. Okay. So if it remains uh, for existing time, uh, it's not communicating, not sending the heartbeat, then it will be marked as inactive. Okay. So it's very uh, important to make sure that in operations, you should make sure that heartbeat is regularly being seen. If uh, no heartbeat is coming, then you need to investigate why. Uh, one more effective tool to use is to use com uh, if uh, scom also checks for heartbeat and uh, if it doesn't get a response it will raise the alert so that you can go and investigate so this is the flow chart the same is uh, written here but i'll show you the diagram how it looks so this is the SCM client that is your laptop or a desktop and this is the SCM server okay and the first process is the client locating the service to identify the site code and management point so this generally uh, it's an active directory okay so discovery when the client sends in discovery it will send okay for the uh, you are from this the client from this site code this is your management server go and talk to him the active directory will give that information okay then the client connects to the management point and downloads the policies when the policies are downloaded it sends a heartbeat record to the server when the server receives the heartbeat record they are converted into DDR and processed. This will be set the client, uh, client flag to 1 and it means it's active. Also on regular basis you should send the heartbeat or else it will be marked as inactive in SCCM server. So this is how the client communication process works. And uh, so as you can see uh, if uh, the client, if in the first process itself is failing then uh, client is unable to find the management point or the site code okay it's uh, it's able to if you see the logs if it's able to connect if I connect to the management point but unable to download this uh, policies then there is issue with the SCCM server or something the network okay it uh, downloaded the policies but uh, it's not able to send the heartbeat record then there is some issue with the SCCM client okay these are the different uh, steps so that it can be easy for you to troubleshoot when you have a uh, uh, CCM issues okay I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching